So about three years ago, I came to the conclusion that I didn't own a good cologne or fragrance. At that point, I was starting to work on my style, work on my grooming and all of that type of thing, but I realized that I didn't have a cologne to wear. I just was wearing body sprays and deodorant and all that stuff, and I wanted to change that. So of course, down the rabbit hole I went, went on YouTube, went online, just started looking at colognes and I ended up making my first purchase. I bought a couple of them and it's been downhill since then. So it got me thinking that I really wanted to put together a video for you guys if you're in the same boat. These are 10 fragrances that are great to start out your collecting hobby. And not only that, but they're 10 fragrances that you should have in your collection regardless if you have a mild collection of 10 bottles or so, or you have an extensive collection that's up into the hundreds, these are still worth having around. They're must-have men's fragrances, in my opinion. They all bring something different to the table. They offer a nice bit of variety, and they're great to have around. And all of these are also available at discount websites. I will link them all down below. They'll take you to FragranceNet and FragranceX. That's where I do most of my fragrance shopping. If you want to grab these at a discount and avoid paying retail, hit those links and check them out. 10 fragrances that you need in your collection to start it off, or if you already have a collection built up, these are must-haves. First one up, we have Womo Urban Feel by Ferragamo. This is going to be by far the freshest version out of the line. Womo and Womo Signature, very sweet. In fact, they're some of the sweeter men's fragrances that I have in my collection. But this one is not. It's very fresh. It's very citrus forward, kind of musky, and just heavy on the aroma chemicals. So completely different than Womo and Womo Signature. This one's going to be great for summer and spring casual wear. Not really anything that I would dress up, not really anything that I would wear on a date or wear in the winter time. That's going to be a job for the Womos, the original ones, but this one does work really well in summertime. And this is going to be the fragrance if you just want to play it safe. You don't want to take the chances of offending anyone. You just want to smell clean, fresh, and that's it. Womo Urban Feel is a great one to pick up, and it's also affordable, $30 or so on discounters. And this is one of the better freshies in this price bracket, in my opinion. Really, really solid one here. Again, great for playing it safe, great for ultimate versatility, Womo Urban Feel. Up next, we're going back to 1999. Now, even though this one is 21 years old, and funnily enough, this is came out when I was born, this one was created by Alberto Marias, who has created a number of bestsellers at this point, and it's not a dated smelling fragrance. It still smells like it holds up in today's time. It's still one that you could wear out and you're not going to get looked at like you're wearing an old person's fragrance. And 21 isn't old, but a lot of stuff that could be released back then may start to show a little bit of age at this point now that we are in the era of Ambroxan and Blue and everything like that. This is a fantastic designer vanilla scent. This one is Givenchy Pie. Gorgeous, gorgeous, powdery, sexy vanilla scent. The powdery touch this one has gives it a freshness, but the vanilla in here gives it a creamy sweetness. It's a great, great mixture. Such a nice smell. Givenchy Pie, this stuff is killer even to this day. Very wearable, great, great compliment getter. Good performance out of this one. And hey, it's just a scent that still works. It still holds up. And it's a must have to have around. You know, this is something that's a kind of a staple. If you have a collection, you should have Givenchy Pie. Really good one. Following that, we have Low Super Majeure Dissy by Issey Miyake. They have tons and tons of fragrances, and it can be hard to sort through, but all of them are primarily going to be freshies. They have been coming out with some solid ones that are a bit sweeter, like Issey Miyake Polaris. They have Noir Argent and so on but a lot of them are going to be freshies. This one included musky, citrusy, fresh, a bit aquatic, has a touch of a salty tinge in here as well. Smells very safe, very pleasant, and very versatile. So this is another one that's going to be great for summertime, kind of like urban feel. It's just one where if you don't want to take any chances, you just want to smell clean and fresh and kind of fly under the radar a little bit, this one here will work great for you. Another one that's super cheap. I think when I got this one, it was like $20 even on FragranceNet. It was on clearance. Maybe it still is. Maybe it's still not. But it's still going to be probably well under $30 for 100 ml bottle. It's hard to beat. 20 bucks. I mean, come on. That's pretty good. And this one here is also a pretty good scent. It's got nice quality to it. Decent performance. Gets the job done for a nice, fresh compliment getter. Low Super Majeure Dissy. Up next, we have a fragrance that I would say... About 99% of you own or have owned at one point in your collection. This is just a signature scent all the way around. One of the 
best signature fragrances out there for men, in my opinion. This is Versace Signature or Versace Pour Homme. Either one works. It's just such a timeless, elegant scent. I mean, every time I smell this one, it just makes me happy. It's bright, it's uplifting, and it's another one that's just ultra wearable. It just has this clean, fresh, masculine smell about it. There's a touch of a floral component in here, but it's not overdone. It still does maintain a fresh, masculine touch, and it doesn't go powdery or anything like some other florals do. Like, you know, if you're thinking something like Prada Loam, which kind of goes in a bit more of a different direction, not straight up masculine because of the iris. This one doesn't have that. The neroli is in here, but it really does maintain true to its roots of being a citrus, musky, clean, fresh, compliment getting scent. This one just works every single time and it always will. Such a timeless DNA. Versace Pour Homme, this is a must have to start your collection or if your collection is already started, you have a lot of bottles, this one's still worth having around. Very relevant, great one for a dumb reach scent. Up next, we have Boss Bottled Tonic. So this one has this citrus forward smell as well, obviously by the color of it and also the name Tonic. A lot of brands have done a tonic flanker. Uh, the thing about this one is it kind of has this vibrant pop in the opening that is a bit reminiscent of Versace Eau Fresh. You know, the blue bottle, musk, star fruit, citrus. I'm sure you've probably heard of that one a time or two. One of the more popular Versace's for sure, at least on their fresh side of things. And this one kind of gives me that same feeling up top. It still does go in its own direction, but it is another one that's going to be ultra wearable, very versatile, and this is just great for starting out your collection because you can't go wrong with this one. Really, all of these that we talk about can be blind bought and you won't have any regrets because of how fresh and wearable they are. And the people that smell these on you nearby are going to love them as well. Great freshie for summertime, and it's pretty affordable as well. You don't have to get the big bottle like this one. You can get a 100 mil and get it for a pretty good price. Boss Bottled Tonic. Following that fresh citrusy trend, we have one from Tommy Bahama, and they do vacation, fun, tropical smelling fragrances the best. I mean, everything from the name of the brand, Tommy Bahama, it just smells like a vacation island type of thing. And to all their fragrances themselves, they're all really good. This one's St. Kitts. This one gets compared to Versace Eau Fresh a little bit. We were just talking about that one. And there is a bit of a similarity, but for me, this one kind of goes in more of a fruity, sweet direction. I don't get a whole lot of fruit from the Versace. I get more citrus musk. Uh, more star fruit, which is a little bit of that fruitiness, but not in the same way. Uh, it's primarily musk and aquatics for me. But this one has a sweet, juicy fruitiness about it. In a way, it's almost like you could drink it. It's just very invigorating, very fresh, very tropical. This one would be great for a day on the water, great for a vacation. If you wanted to make some great memories when you go on vacation to somewhere tropical, you could wear this one for the entire trip. And from then on, Every time you smell this fragrance, you'll be brought back to those memories of being on vacation. That's just a powerful thing of scent memory. And I like to do that with Tommy Bahamas. I've talked about this before, but St. Bart's, another really good one. I would spray that one like on towels and stuff uh, on vacation when we go to the lake or whatever, just on beach towels. And now every time I smell Tommy Bahama St. Bart's, it takes me back to those fun times. So it's kind of a similar thing you can do here with this one. Very tropical, very fun, very invigorating, and also very safe. And it's affordable. You can get these Tommy Bahamas for under $30 on discounters, making this a steal. Now let's say you want something a little bit more mature, a bit better for the office for a man who wants a signature scent, something a bit more masculine. This one is Missoni Parfum. So this one comes in, I want to say around $50, $60 or so. And what's cool about this one is you do get a nice magnetic cap. And that always kind of brings up the quality of a presentation. There's something about a magnetic cap that just works. Now this one gets compared a little bit to Blue de Chanel. The main reason why is people see the grapefruit, the smokiness, and they automatically think Blue de Chanel. But this one's quite a bit different. Blue de Chanel smells very blue. I know, it probably just blew your mind, but it really does. It smells like the name, it smells like the color of the bottle, that deep, dark blue. That fits the whole fragrance perfectly, and I think that's one of the reasons why that is just a wildly successful fragrance, was and still is. Now, the Missoni doesn't smell blue. This one is more citrus spicy for me with that smokiness as well. And it just doesn't have a blue smell. Um, it's got a bit more of a kind of a deep, 
golden color to it, kind of like actually the name on the front here, as you can kind of see it, and even the cap a little bit, just kind of golden color. That's what it has coming from the spiciness, coming from the little bit of a citrus and the smokiness. This is great for the office. It's great for a mature man who wants something refined and just ultimately sexy. Still gonna be a great compliment getter, very wearable. Great one here, a little bit more expensive, but still very affordable, great quality and everything about it. It's just really, really top notch. Missoni Parfum, if you start out your collection with this one, you're gonna be ahead of the curve by a lot. Great one to have around and not too many people wear this one. Running down to the end, these last three fragrances are gonna be in a different direction. We focused on freshies throughout the entirety of the video up until this point. Now I'm gonna give you some things that are a little bit more sweet, a little bit more warm for if you want to stand out and go in a different direction. We'll start off with Armani Co Profumo. This is another one where I would say a lot of you guys own or have owned at some point. So maybe you got it when it was getting hyped up and that's really what happened. This one got a ton of hype, everyone bought it up for good reason. It smells fantastic, it's spicy, it's warm, it's sexy, it's powdery from the Tonka bean. It's got a bit of an edible gourmand quality to it as well which is interesting, but it does work. This one's very playful and it's gonna be a bit more youthful. Great for a night out, great for a party, even great for a date if you limit your sprays. This one is not a freshie, it's the opposite direction of that. So you have to be into the sweeter things, but this one is gonna make you stand out a little bit more. Great one to have around, Armani Code Profumo. Up next we have Boss Bottled Private Accord. This one has maninka fruit up top in the opening, giving it that fruitiness. It's got a nice vetiver, a warm sweetness in here as well. Another one that smells great, and it smells different than a lot of the other designers out there, especially in this price point. Typically in this price point, things kind of run together and can smell a bit similar, but I believe you can get this one for around $50 on discounters, and it smells unlike anything else out there. Really, really well done, and if you want to stand out and have something a bit more warm and sweet, and you don't want to break the bank, the Armani was a bit more expensive. This one's going to be a bit on the more affordable side. Definitely check this one out. Don't sleep on this one. Boss Bottled Private Accord. And last up, we have one that you just have to have around. It's from Guerlain. This one is L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum. This one is the Almond Cherry Bomb. Warm, smooth, mysterious, alluring. This smells like a dressed up man who knows what he's doing, has a very refined taste, and just is gonna take crap from every, anyone is really how this one smells. It's just so different, it's so unique, nothing else out there does it quite like this one does. The cherry almond mixture is killer, great for the fall and winter time, and just great for someone who wants to be dressed up and has this um, kind of confident allure to them. Guerlain IDL EDP is the way to go you have to have this one around, seriously. If you're just starting out, or if you have a relatively decent sized collection built up, consider adding this one, and if you don't like it at first, keep going back to it because most of you will come around to it and really enjoy it. Great, great stuff here, and it's affordable too. So guys, that's gonna do it for me. That is 10 fragrances to start your collection, or if you already have your collection started, 10 that you should definitely own at some point. Remember, if you wanna grab any of these for yourself, hit the links down below. They will take you to discounters, and you can pick them up there for a nice, price. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.